Thank you for joining me for the Midsummer Streamathon that is sponsored by Art Curious by MNW. I was invited to participate this year, although I don't stream. And I don't stream because I don't want to. I stream because I do not have I don't stream because I do not have the internet provider that will allow that to happen without a bunch of blips. So the details of this are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week. There is something different every day. You can see from my screen right now the different things that are happening. Today is the woodcraft or the wood carving, foam carving, and I am going to create just a little something different that I hope you will enjoy. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mix Media. You can find me over on Facebook in my group Two Old Crows Mix Media and I of course would love for you to subscribe and like my videos which that helps me boost my channel. So I am going to be um, putting some Zentangles together. I have decided to just create a little um, <clears throat> tabletop decoration, if you will, that I can set next to my coffee pot in my kitchen. And while you can't see it right now, you can't because I lost the footage of it, I am utilizing a chair leg that I purchased from um, the hardware store in the section where you can buy um, extra legs for tables, for chairs, for um, different things. And it is a very small little footed leg that, I, you know, I'm not exactly sure what it would be for, but I thought that it would be very useful for me. So I pulled the screw out of the top of it and it has kind of an angular design sit on each side. So I am cutting my watercolor paper four inches in height and I am angling that width down from two inches to one and a half inches. So I've made a little mark a uh, half inch in and I will just angle from the top and I will cut one and then utilize that as my pattern to cut the other four sheets of watercolor paper. So here we go with the first one. And stick with me and you'll see where I'm going to use these very soon. And what I did with that table leg or leg, <laughs> may I, you know, it might be for a bed frame. I have no idea what they use them for but I painted it a matte black. And we'll just get all of these cut to that same I want to pull in a little closer here because as I told you before, I am creating these to put on a black uh, table leg and I want to use them over by my coffee pot. So I want to just kind of zentangle these cups going up this particular piece of paper and kind of putting them from the bottom to the top and angle them up. So I'm going to turn on some music and I'm doing this video in real time so you can see how these cups are created because it's very easy if you just follow these simple drawing patterns. Dimension.
We have one more to do and we'll angle this one to the left. So I hope that you have enjoyed uh, learning how to draw these little coffee cups and you can see they're so easy with just that little rug, rugged mark up each side and then um, twisting the uh, back around and putting that semicircle in for the top of the cup. It just makes it so easy and this all came out of that Zentangle book that you saw me utilize in the very first video or the video of the zine and where I Zentangled on the front of that um, zine that we created out of a magazine page. So I am really have been stretched a lot to learn how to do this Zentangling. Had never done it before but now I'm hooked. So thank you. Uh, Miriam for broadening my horizons a little bit to participate in this streamathon, and I hope you all have enjoyed what I've learned um, and I've been able to convey what I've learned in a manner that you can pick it up easily. You may already know how to do it and I may be the only one that is in this community that doesn't know how to zentangle, but in any event, I am learning, and thank you very much for kind of following along with me. So I'll turn the music back on and finish this last one, and then we'll put it onto my table leg.
darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time seem to leave my mind mm, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time mm. Bruises they come and they go and We have to try and keep up
We have all four of them created now, and as you can see, I got a mark on the one and decided to go over all of them and, and put the um, black ink. And now you can, or you know, shade it in, shadow it with that black ink. Now you get to see that table leg, finally. <laughs> I can't believe that I lost that video of me getting that table leg out and showing it to you in the raw state and then of course you know painting it black was not any big feat or big ordeal but you can see with that little um, chair leg table leg I think it's more of a chair leg looks like and I am now going to take these uh, watercolor pieces of watercolor paper and glue them to each side and there are my little coffee cups going up the side of each. And you know, there's no real <laughs> intended purpose for, for this at all. I have a couple of things that I thought I could do with it. I thought um, first about getting one of those very small terracotta saucers and painting that black and putting it on the top and then I could put uh, four or five little k-pods in it and it could sit right there next to my Keurig and then I thought eh you know I don't I don't necessarily know that I want that sitting in my kitchen and then I thought I could put a little frosted white votive candle on the top of this one of those small little uh, glass candles and that might be kind of sweet you know sitting there I could light that candle in the evening and have just a little candle light there in the kitchen next to my my coffee pot so that is probably what I will do I do not have one of those in stock now but I am going to show you a picture of a red one that I do have so here are the images of the finished piece and I'm going to show you all of the different sides and then I'm going to show it to you with that little red votive candle and I'll let you decide what, how you would use this and maybe you know hit me in the comments with what you think it would be good for. So I hope you enjoyed and I will talk with you here in just a few minutes as we close this video out. Here are the details for tomorrow. Today was the wood carving. Tomorrow is just a mixed media project. I hope that you have found all kinds of great ideas from all the different creatives that have been participating in what is being referred to as the Midsummer Streamathon, which is being sponsored by Miriam over at Art Curious by MNW. So a big thank you to Miriam for all the hard work that it took to put this together and I will thank you for spending the last 20 some odd minutes with me and I hope that you found some value in the content that I have provided to you this week and if so please step over subscribe to my channel and always that thumbs up is very beneficial. Bye for now.